So I was part of that first wave of influencers, I guess, that kind of came onto the scene. Hey guys, welcome back to YouTuber Headlines. My name's Oakley. Today we're talking about a mom fluencer who was arrested for family violence in Texas. Her name is Amber Massey. She has almost a million followers on Instagram. She's a mommy blogger and she also has a YouTube channel, but they don't post on YouTube that often. You like you missed the beard? Yeah. Everyone else missed the beard too. <laughs> I regretted shaving. You did? Yeah. So you did up. look like a little preteen. <laughs> Amber and her husband Jordan have five children. Jordan is a firefighter, but he recently had spinal surgery. Booking details of Amber's arrest say that she was charged and released for adult Class C family violence. Amber went live on Instagram and said that her husband was on a lot of pain medication and that combined with her family being there started huge drama that ended badly. Amber also explained she's had childhood trauma that was triggered by her family visiting combined with the stress of being a caretaker for her husband and children and pets, brought some things to a head and that she is getting into counseling. Amber also told her nearly 1 million followers on Instagram, I'm working through some crap behind the scenes. I'm actually still human. That's a good point and we as viewers need to always remember that don't put YouTubers and influencers on a pedestal. They're normal and they're human just like all of us. And they're definitely not perfect. Now let's talk about the juicy details. This is what I heard happened. All of this is alleged, but I've heard from many viewers and several sources that Amber and her husband got into an altercation. The police came to the house and arrested Amber. I was told that Amber's husband did not call the police. Allegedly, Amber threw a Yeti cup at her husband who just had spinal surgery. So if Jordan, Amber's husband, didn't call the police, who called the police? No one knows who called the police at this point. Amber is going on like everything is okay. She's on Instagram every day just talking about normal things that she would always talk about. So I just shared Brady's end of the school year chalkboard on my feed and I've talked about how I do these chalkboards before i think i did it at the beginning of this year but wanted to remind you guys that it's super easy i actually take the photo with no text on it so that clip was from yesterday amber's just on instagram talking about how to put text on her child's school chalkboard she's acting like nothing happened everything is fine and she is just going on like everything's okay this comment is from Reddit, and this is supposedly Amber's brother. He said, Amber is really trying hard to scrub all of this. I just don't think it will go away. I wonder what her next plan is to keep her money slash sponsors. I am betting she might try a fake apology to us. The sad part is no one will accept the apology. Essentially, we just want the real story to be heard. Sick of family being bashed by her. Amber had such a traumatic childhood that my parents rented out Circle R Ranch and bought her a convertible top, cherry red BMW for her sweet 16. She got whatever she wanted, whenever she wanted. My dad spoiled her rotten. I have not been able to confirm this comment was actually from Amber's brother, but this person is claiming to be Amber's brother. Here's another comment from Reddit. Amber built a business on profiting off other women by selling them shit with the subliminal message that our lives can be perfect. Hashtag goals like hers. If we buy this and be a certain type of person, mom, wife, and throw $10,000 birthday parties for each of our children, it might seem petty to some, or why do you care? But I think of it like this. Her brand is family. She was arrested for family violence. This woman, whose work consists of highly profitable brand deals and getting nearly everything for free, is still not technically a public figure, not like an actual celebrity. There is no public accountability. NBC and E! aren't going to run a story on her. She alone controls the narrative. Influencers are a new type of micro-celebrities, yet they aren't held accountable for their actions or fact-checked by paparazzi. Kind of feels like a wake-up call of how even those with the blue check marks can be catfishers. I think this is such a good comment and I think it touches on the fact that there is no public accountability for things that YouTubers do. 
and influencers do that is unethical, unprofessional, against the law, until commentary channels came along. That's what we do. We hold influencers and YouTubers accountable for their action. Like that person said, influencers are micro celebrities, but they're not celebrities. So this is not going to make E! News or Entertainment Tonight. Who's going to talk about this? Who's going to make sure Amber is held accountable for her actions? Well, insert commentary channels. That's what we do here in the commentary niche on YouTube. We hold influencers and YouTubers accountable for their actions. I say this all the time, but back in the day, YouTubers and influencers got away with everything. They were never publicly held accountable for their actions the way celebrities are. Amber's brand is family, and she was arrested for family violence. Let that sink in. So many women and mothers look up to her. They think she's perfect, super mom, and goals. But in reality, she's not perfect. Do you guys think there should be some public accountability for her actions? Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. I also heard Amber had her mugshot removed from arrest.com. Here's another comment from Reddit. I was just wondering, she brags that friends have been bringing by food. Do we really think she has friends? Would she not tag them if so? Conjecture, duh, but it seems like she doesn't have anyone loyal to her. Here is a picture that Amber posted on Instagram where she is bragging about her friends bringing by food since her husband just had spinal surgery. Just four months ago, Amber did an interview with Natalie's Network. I will have her YouTube channel linked down below. Let's listen to Amber explain how she's paid from brands and how much she charges. I have a kind of a set rate that I can expect based on my analytics when it comes to what my story views are, how many people engage in my posts, how many comments that I get. I talk about YouTubers and how they make money all the time, but it's very interesting to hear an influencer talk about how she makes money on Instagram. Every time you view someone's stories, provide engagement on their post, comment, all of that helps their analytics, which gives them more power to negotiate a higher price with brands. Amber goes on to say in this interview that she has a management team that negotiates all of her deals for her. She has a set rate that she will take no matter what. She will not go below that rate. And depending on what the brand wants, the rate goes up from there. Will Amber's arrest affect her brand and sponsorships? I've heard she is deleting comments and blocking people left and right. Why will she not just come out and make a statement about what happened? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.